What is happening, my Android friends? Welcome to the Mandroid Daily. I am David, of course, the Mandroid, and I apologize for not having a video up last night. You know, you know, your real life gets a little busy, and you know, and I'm just gonna dive right into it because some stuff happened yesterday and some stuff happened today. So hey, let's get started. All right, HTC, let's uh, let's get people back on your side here. I mean, hey. They're, they've gotten better. They've gotten better. And uh, first off, let's talk about the Desire Eye. Okay. Now, when I first heard this, I was like, huh, this is going to be some kind of different kind of phone. Just maybe it's going to be sold somewhere. No, this is something unique. And I'm really thinking HTC knows what they're freaking doing here. I mean, this is, this is a brand new phone that is really going to capitalize on the selfie trend. As much as I hate the selfie trend, this is totally going to capitalize on it because you have a 13 megapixel front facing camera. What? That is amazing. Okay. I mean, I tell you what, I mean, everybody does selfies and they, of course, want to do the front facing camera so they could see it on the on the screen. And HTC said, OK, well, let's upgrade that camera and make it 13 megapixels. So there you go. Not to mention, it's a beautiful device. Look at that. I love that blue. Oh, my God. And it's rocking some freaking awesome specs. It's got a quad core Qualcomm 801 processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and it's got an SD slot. It's got boom sound. Even though it doesn't have the front-facing speakers, it's still got boom sound. And it's got a a, 2400 milliamp battery, which, you know... I mean, that's not that big, but hey, I'm sure, you know, it still still gets you through the day. And it's got an IPX7 waterproof rate. (laughs) Ha! Dang! There you go. So, th- I mean, you know, that's good. I'm glad that HTC is really thinking about all this. And there's some stuff in there. And, man, I think you could say, like, yeah, these are, there's voice commands that say, say cheese and, you know, action to start a video. Man, there's some really cool stuff in this phone. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. So let me know what you think about this phone down below. Then the next little thing that we were hearing about is the RE camera, RE camera. I don't know, RE camera. I don't know if they're saying that. But, uh, yeah. This is this little guy right here. This little, it's like a pipe. You, know, you just hold it, almost like a, a stethoscope. Is that what they call those on the submarines? Pretty cool. Um, we've been hearing about this, and this is like an outdoorsy kind of camera, and uh, it's got some pretty good specs. It's a 16 megapixel camera, 146 degree ultra wide angle lens, takes 1080p video, 30 frames per second. It's got a 13 gigabyte internal storage, and it's got an SD slot too, which is great. It's it's waterproof. It's rated at an IPX7, so there you go. It's got a 820 milliamp battery and you can connect it bluetooth wi-fi i mean it's really cool i mean they're really trying to uh jump into the cameras here that's for sure so i wouldn't mind getting one you can actually pre-order one that's 200 bucks some people might think it's steep but you know it's got all this stuff going for them i mean i honestly thought they were going to shoot a little higher um but you know whatever it's fine because like gopros go up to at least you know they're like range from 150 to 500 i know they're kind of trying to go that way because you use this outdoors apparently you know and like i said it's waterproof so not bad at all guys not bad at all let me know what you think about that as well and then according to the wall street journal the 5.9 inch nexus 6 our shamu is going to be launching this month okay so wall street journal they got some sources so i guess we could keep on a lookout i mean end of october i mean we heard that time frame before so i guess we'll keep our eyes open guys and uh let me know if you plan on getting it and then the oppo n3 we've been hearing about this and it turns out yeah the date is set for october 29th so we got a couple phones coming out here folks um i'd like to know your opinions about them are you gonna get that one or are you gonna get um the uh, the nexus 6 or are you gonna get the new moto x we got some phones coming out this fall and I, I, I love it i love this stuff so let me know about all that down below in the balls area hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to the android spin channel if you have not already and visit androidspin.com the first link down below you'll find all the articles that i talked about and i'll talk to you guys later